Hi guys, this is Jay. Welcome to Reflections. You know, there's, there's a lot of discussion about who's the greatest in the Kingdom of Heaven and who are the best leaders and the biggest leaders. And even in, in uh, people who, who understand God all around the world are all arguing about who's the greatest. Well, you know what? When you look at a child, just pretend there's a child standing right here. Actually, I've got a child who can sit right here in the middle of the front of the screen, right here. He's a little child, okay? I'm going to tell you once and for all that unless all of us, unless all of us start from square one and start over like children, we're not even going to get a look at the kingdom. That's the fact, let alone even get in. Whoever becomes simple and elemental like this little child here, well, they're the ones that are going to rank high in the kingdom of heaven. When we receive the childlike people on, on Jesus' account, it's the same as actually receiving Jesus. But if we give childlike people, like this little one right here, a hard time bullying them, taking advantage of their simple trust, we'll soon wish we hadn't. It's actually better off that we'd be dropped off in the middle of the lake with a, with a big rock tied around our neck because doom is coming to the world for giving God-believing little children a hard time or the childlike in their faith a hard time. Hard times are inevitable, but you don't have to make it worse. And it's doomsday for us if we do. I've got to tell you, if your hand or your foot gets in the way of, of God, you've just got to chop it off and throw it away. You're better off maimed or lamed and alive than proud owners of two hands and two feet and godless in a furnace of eternal fire. And if your eye keeps distracting you from God, well then pull it out and throw it away. You're better off one-eyed. You don't have to really have 20-20 vision from the inside of the fire of hell. So watch that you don't treat a single one of God's childlike believers arrogantly. You realise, don't you, that their personal angels are are constantly in touch with the Father in heaven. So there's a warning for us guys today, all about humility. Alright guys, I'll speak to you later. See ya.